This is my game room. This is my TV. Your decision. I agree. Yeah. I just don't want to take my get a cup or like strike by Cartoon Network. So this is my game room. So what should I start? Oh yeah, the point we see right here. Oh, I So, right here is my PC. I don't know what graphic cards it has. It's just really cheap. So, right here is an Amazon Echo. Um, a speaker. Some video equipment. Hmm. I can't find the answer to the question I heard. And also, there's my cameras. And my sign. Then there's the retro stuff. The retro st stuff, like, uh, another thing is, I made this thing. Take out this and my emojis. My first console, Sega Genesis, slash Sega CD. I enjoyed a lot. I enjoyed the system a lot. I go down is the 2600 games and then my Atari 2600. How I enjoyed it? It's a pretty fun system. Here's my Nintendo. There's no games in it. It's oh, these systems are set up by composite or ROF. Then there's the Sega Master System. I enjoy this well. Not a VCR. I Sega CD Master System games. Another thing is, I actually found this game in a back my back room, and I found this game in my closet. And yeah, in my attic. You don't expect to find games like that in your box, in your go in your. Okay, this is my TV. It's huge. I buy a record player, and this one mostly uses pretty much RF and composite. So I nice set up all these systems. This is Switchbox. And here's life hack. If you have any RCA or composite inputs, they'll work. No matter what color they are, they will work. So. Mostly switch around them to change it. This little mis board filled with miscellaneous junk. My Nintendo Wii. From the Nintendo Wii to my SNES, I'm at Super Nintendo. I'll also up to this TV, which supports everything from composite to component, which is a lot of stuff. HD DVD player. I don't really use it because they don't have any HD DVDs. It's a DVD player anyway, so. I don't really need it because I only have one. And where I put it in, I mostly use it so the stand is higher so it doesn't touch my consoles. Also, I have an, the PS4 Pro, so yeah. My Wii is set up by component. It's fine. So, the sixth generation consoles Dreamcast, PS2, Xbox, and GameCube. The GameCube, I enjoy it. PS2, it's a big library. In fact, I say if you want to get a retro console, you should get a PS2. If you already have a PS2, then you should get a retro, you, whatever console you want. The Xbox, I actually got, did pretty well. It was a pretty fine system. And another people think is that the 360 was the first Xbox, but no, 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 no. There's everybody that says that is incorrect and false. This is it.
all my friends at school think that, but no, it's this one. Dreamcast. Ah, uh, sickest flask and greatest console. Uh, this is so awesome. I enjoy it as well. Yeah, 64. This was my first retro console ever. And the controller? Ah, uh, something we never see today. We would ever see today. And, really good. I see all these systems are set. This one said for S video, composite, component, com S video, and S video. The PlayStation. PlayStation 1, I enjoy it. It's a fun system. It has a lot of good games. That's set up for S video. The Saturn. Ah, uh, so Sega's it's craziest console. The Sega Saturn. Actually, I f it kind of is a zombie when I think about it. One time I was playing the Saturn until the disk drive now works, and now the disk drive works fine. I don't know why, but it maybe came back to life for some reason. And this uses composite. I enjoyed the Saturn as well. The SNES. I, I meant the Super Nintendo. This is the Super Nintendo Junior Mall 2, but I suppose it's composite video, but I don't really want to get ditched this one, get a new one. And yeah, this is, it also uses composite. So, yeah, that's my system. So then there's the current stuff. Here's my Xbox 360. I got this around when they still had some. PS4 Pro. This just came out like on the November 10th. As I'm filming this video, I think it's yeah, it's the 21st of October of 2016. The Wii U, which I enjoy, Xbox One, fun co console, but it looks like a VCR. Hmm. For anybody that says that it looks like a VCR, no, I don't think so. Then. And those t all of these consoles, this is HDMI, goes to this big TV right here, which I also watch cartoons with. Then, there's my wall of this games. <coughs> Bless you. Excuse me. Here's my Game Shark, DS, iPhone 6 case, and Broken Atari 2600 Jr. My DVDs, Blu-rays, and VHS tapes up here. My PS2 collection. Come on, focus. Here. My Xbox and PS2 games. Also, if you wonder why this case is only white, why I'm adding 2001, is it? This thing came with its case, so I actually had it white. Use a piece of paper. It didn't work that well. But it, it was. Up here is all my phones and cameras stuff. Well, here is my Wii U collection. I enjoy this Wii U collection. Here's Xbox 360 games and SpongeBob SquarePants. Your pants. I actually, in my Blu ray version of SpongeBob SquarePants, the movie, the, se the second movie, I sound this. And then I wanted to. 361 had one. I never had a 360 until now. So yeah. Spock Super Nintendo games. DVDs. And the power supply. Yeah, I know it's going to go unsafe, but I have no other choice. My Sega Master System games. Genesis games. Super Nintendo. And NES games. Also, if you want a hidden gem on NES, that's Literally, absolutely no one is talking about. Get it? Werewolf the Last Warrior. It's my favorite game. And I also found it in the back room. The Super Nintendo S GameCube and, 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 and N64 games. VHS tapes. I meant cassette tapes. Right here, I put some of my DS games here. And Game Gear games, and I also stacked them up. <laughs> My long fans, yes. Toy Links, Game Boy Colors, G Game Boy, and Game Boy fans. I mostly play all of them on the big screen. My 3DS games and DS games. 
my box Game Boy games, and my Xbox One and PS4 games. Also, I have these little Sonic classic figures right here to kind of snatch things up. Books, a lot of books also here. Up here is my PC and Dreamcast games. Trees PC and PlayStation games. Sega Saturn. TSP and Box PC games. My Star Wars thing, a Vault Boy, and Remaster games with one more book. So yeah, that's my big sh wall shelf, but there's some a little more. Back here is all my Skyliners figures. My PSP and Game Gear. Uh, I set it up like right here. This. This is a little bit messy back here because I need heat. Because it's got a little messy here because there's a lot of wires and I definitely need heat here so what I usually do is just this plug in my cables that's better board games and pretty much where I put all my controllers. I put all my controllers in these little cases. Yeah, and pretty much that's my game room. Another thing is this these bunk beds right here I set up. And then there's this back room right here. It's a little dirty. I mean, I mean it's a little messy. Oh, this is pretty much just my dad's office. So this is a Joey's game reviews of fun. Click that subscribe button and thumbs up our videos. Or thumbs down. But mostly thumbs up. So, bye. Also, I many people may be wondering why my previous videos weren't really game reviews. Well, these are kind of test videos. These are videos that mostly are testing because I don't have a good camera or anything like that. Or tripods. So this is pretty much what I'm going to really do with it. So, yeah. So, this is my game room. Yeah. Bye.